want to be intellectually honest, the issues raised here have more to do with commerce than they do with a Second Amendment. A lot of people make a lot of money selling firearms and ammunition. The National Rifle Association has said the solution is to have armed security guards at every school. Certainly, you know, every piece of security we engage in can be helpful, but it's, you know, foolish to think that only security is what we need. You know, the great challenge is here, can we prevent these tragedies? Having I'm sorry to interrupt, Chief, but since you've just brought up this notion of prevention, which is, of course, the real issue here, right? I'm curious when this conversation is going to move to more relevant social science. You know, I, I see we have, for example, the NRA here. Hi. Uh, yet we don't have anyone from the pharmaceutical industry. Isn't it true that most of the mass shootings that have commenced have been done by people who are under the influence of psychologically mood-altering medications? Or better yet, where is the drug czar of this country? Since the war on drugs has commenced, there has been a massive increase in gun-related drug violence. Are we just going to ignore this causality as well? Or better yet, I almost forgot, I have here about a hundred years of data on the relationship between economic imbalance, specifically wealth imbalance, and violence. You know, the stats have become very clear now that the gap between the rich and the poor creates more violence. The more gap, the more violence. And crime on the whole. Which might explain, by the way, why the United States, with the largest income gap in the world, also has the most violence and worst public health of any first world nation. Is this not worth a congressional discussion? I mean, with all due respect, you people can't possibly be naive enough to think that the reduction of certain guns, as the left suggests, or the increase in armed security in public places, as the right suggests, is really going to have a long-term effect on such deeply rooted sociological problems, right? A problem clearly rooted in structured dehumanization and economic deprivation. It's inherent to our social system. You know, is it not of some viable consideration to address this issue? No? Really?